need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's awake I need loss with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space Shalom, sis. My name is Yehoshua. I... Andrew Lee? Andrew Lee? Okay, that's what I said. What does that mean? Gift of God in my dad's name. Okay. All praises. Um, all praises, you came up, you know, dialoguing with the brothers. Not really. I'm trying to ask questions, but I know y'all want to talk, so. Now, I want to. y'all preach. Now, we want to. I just want to ask questions. Now, we don't want to preach. We want to teach. We don't think you're dumb, sis. We don't. We don't I guess. I know. Talk to me. Where's the white man? At? Okay, and I'll, sh I'll show you the white man. Can you tell me why you're interested in the white man? Because you got every nationality on here except the white man. That's all one nationality, right That's there. Right. Okay, there it's, you go. There's 18 nationalities in the Bible. God chose one, so we're out here talking about one nationality, and we skipped over 17. So I'm curious why you're interested in that one particular one. Andrew Leek? Andrew Leek. Do, do you understand that all these are one people? Yes, I do. Okay. So my question is, if the 12 tribes of Judah, that's around right? 12 tribes of Israel. One of those yes. tribes is the tribe of Judah. Right. Uh-huh. Okay, so where is the white people? And where I'm, do they fit? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. But I just, I just want to know why you're interested in white people. Because they, they own this world, too. It's a lot of it's Chinese, it's Japanese, it's Ishmael. What makes you all interested in that one particular race God of people? Is a God, of everybody. God is a God of everybody. God. All those that have faith and believe. All those that have faith. And that's all you need is faith. So, like, for God so loved the world, like, is is that is that your doctrine? Is that what you believe that God loves everybody? He doesn't hate anybody. I never said that. Oh my God. Okay. Where's the white man? All right, I'm gonna Where's show you. Where's the Chinese man? I'm gonna show you the, all the ones that you say that's not on. The all right. Go to, go to Psalms 83. Psalms 83, verse 1. So first, I'm going to start off with all of them, and then I'm going to backtrack to the white man for you, all right? And we're going to dialogue. I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to let you say what you got to say, and then I'm going to let the Bible speak, all right? Why are you shaking your head? Because you already about to tell me something. The Bible don't say. You telling me the white man Jesus is a lie, but y'all got a black man Jesus. That's a lie. Which one you want to deal with first, Jesus, or you want to deal with the white man? Neither one, because it's all a lie. That y'all preaching at. So you don't, oh, okay. All right. So you don't want us to answer any of your right. questions? Yeah, you can't. I'm listening. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm asking. Right, what did go. sister just say out of her mouth? I've been, I mean, you said I've been, everything we're teaching is a lie. I've been thinking this the whole time, but I'm asking questions so I can. Go ahead. Let me ask you this. Do you believe in the Bible? Only the Bible. Only the Bible. There you go. So you believe in what the Bible says? So if we read the Bible to you, you're going to be okay with what it you says. You're going to show me a black man Jesus in the Bible. Read that first before y'all do anything. You, you familiar with that? You, you watch this online, right? No, I don't actually. But show me the black man Jesus in that Bible. You want us to go to the white man first or the black no, man first? I want first? you to go to the black man Jesus that okay. y'all got a picture of all right, we'll and read. preach against the white man Jesus. Okay. All right. We'll do that. We'll do that for you. All right. So the sister has a question about what does Christ look like? According to the Bible. That's yeah, right. You right? about to read you about to read go to, Revelation. Go to John chapter. Oh, okay. No, I don't have to. I can go to Daniel. I can okay. that's I can, right. I can go to many go, different places. Where you about to go, John what? We're gonna go to John chapter eight, verse thirty two. And then we're gonna go to John fourteen and six. You know? And then we're gonna go to we'll go to Daniel. Since you're familiar with Revelation, it's already written right here. We'll go to Daniel. We'll go to Daniel. John eight thirty two, John fourteen and six, and then let's go to Daniel. The book of John, chapter eight. And verse 32, uh -huh. and ye shall know the truth. And we shall know the what? The truth. Uh -huh. And the truth shall make you free. So Andrew Lee, what we're, what we're out here doing is showing people the truth about the Bible. That's right. The truth about the Bible has been hidden from our people right. behind many different lies, none of which we teach. Mm -hmm. One of those lies is sitting in front of you right here because you can't find this depiction anywhere in the Bible. I don't believe in 
that. I don't believe okay, in good. No white man Jesus because he was okay. never white. So okay, good. I, I don't believe in no color you celebrate, and all that kind of stuff. You celebrate I Christmas? It. No, I don't. Birthdays? Yeah. You believe in white man Jesus? That's then? right. Right. No. That's his doctrine. He taught That's us right. that. You weren't celebrating birthdays before you came over here on slave ship. Bring it out. See, what you don't understand is, read the scripture to you again. No. You shall know. And ye shall know the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. Andrew Lick, you don't realize that your mind is in bondage right now. That's right. And it's evident through how you dress. It's evident through the things that you believe in. It's evident through the birthdays that you celebrate. Teach. They were taught to you in slavery. All of these things came from your slave master. Right. Give me John 14 and 6. So I celebrate John, birthday. John chapter 14, verse 6. Uh -huh. Jesus said unto him. Who's speaking? Jesus said unto him. We're going to show you what Jesus looks like according to the Bible show. But you, you following along, right? Yeah. I'm following. You got the King James Version? Yeah. Okay, good. John chapter 14, verse 6. You with us? Yeah. We're going to wait for you. We're going to be patient with you, sis. We don't want to argue with you. We want to build you up. Trust me, I know how it goes. I got you. I'm going to see. I'm how you know how it goes? You just said you ain't never seen it before. I know how it goes. You don't know how it goes. I All right, go ahead and read it. John 14, verse 6. Uh -huh. Jesus said unto him, uh -huh. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So if Christ would make such a profound statement, isn't it important that we understand the truth about it? Matter of fact, give me Matthew 24 before you go to Daniel. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. It's a reason why we have the depiction of Christ out here. New Testament, first book in the New Testament, chapter 24, verse 4. This is why we teach the depiction of Christ. Read. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. That no man what? Deceive you. Andrew Lee, what does deceive me? Wait, what verse you read? Matthew what? Chapter 24, verse 4. Okay. Did, did what does deceive me? Did you read the whole verse? Yeah, I'm going to read the whole verse, but there's a word right here that I want to make. You know what I mean? But see, you don't got to stop and break it up for me. Y'all just go ahead with it. All right, well, let me let me ask the brother. Yeah, what does deceive me? Deceive means to... Um, Basically lie to you. It's a lie, right? Yeah. Okay, so Christ said that people are going to be lying. Hey, my, hey, find out the sister's name in that, uh, that lecture's right there. Read that again. Verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, uh -huh. Take heed that no man deceive you. Shonda? Rashonda. Rashonda? All right, so Rashonda, Andrew League, and what's your name? Bertrand. Bertrand? Bertrand? Bertrand. I, I can hear you. Bird song. Bird, your name is Bird song. Yes. All right. Can we call you Bird? That's fine. All right. All right. Andrew Lee, Rashonda, and Bird. All right. Christ said that take heed. So listen closely. Pay close attention. That no man deceive you. Somebody's going to deceive you. Read. How they going to deceive you? For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So many people shall come in my name, saying that I am Christ, and deceive many. Who came as Christ? Bring it out. Who came as Christ? If you turn the TV on right now, who is Christ? But Shonda, what, what does Christ look like if you turn the television on? I'm not asking you what you believe he looks like. If you turn on TV and you see a picture of Christ, what does he look like? Like, like this one right here? This is what Christ looks like on television. Bird, would you argue with that? You would argue with that? You don't see a white man depicted as Christ on television. I don't even look the Bible. Okay, well, we ain't out here for you then. We ain't out here for you then. <laughs> we ain't out here for you. We out here for people who believe in the Bible that have been lied to about Christ, thus saved the Bible. Oh, man, you need to study online before you come out here, man. We've gone over all these topics time and time and time again, man. Look. All the people, look, listen, Bird, Bird. All the people in the Bible were black. That's right. Right. King James was black. That's right. He wasn't a white homosexual. Teeth. Right? Moses. That's what I'm talking about, teeth, bro. Check this out. Check this out. Adam was made from the dust of the what? The dust of the what? What was Adam made from? The first man that was ever created. He was made from the dust of the ground. What does that look like right there? Uh, dirt. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So the first man looked like what? Wait, wait, wait. Time out. You, no, no. Okay, so if y'all believe that, and then you got the Muslims that try to say the black man is the, the, the germ 
from the white man coming. So you telling this man that don't believe that the black Jesus, the black man came from the, the, the dirt because it's brown? You gonna tell this man that don't I'm, believe? I'm, I'm just saying I don't believe in the Bible. That God picked you know? up man Adam Brown. I, I ain't too concerned about it because he don't believe in the first place. Yeah, right. but, but shit, I wouldn't keep believing either if he told me that. Check this out. Did we finish that up yet? But I'm gonna follow him online though. <laughs> I'm gonna see you okay, good, good, good. All right, Revelation one and fourteen, and then we're gonna go to Dan. Right there. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, bro. You probably don't believe what you've been taught, but you you haven't been taught the true understanding of the Bible for you to actually decide if you believe in the Bible right. or not. You got me? You, you could you could build with that. Yeah. You could at least build with that. Yeah. They lied to us about this book. We out here giving you the truth about. It. Right. We're reading straight out of the book. So I'm I'm gonna read you one particular verse. Cause you've seen a white man on television that looks like Jesus Christ. They've depicted him as Jesus but I don't Christ. Believe that. Good. And that, I, don't, I don't believe that. All praises to the most high. But I don't believe that either. Well, you don't have a reason not to believe it. Because I'm about to read it to you out of the Bible. You never read it out of the Bible before. As far as I'm concerned, I'm Jesus Christ. You said you Jesus Christ? <laughs> Nigga! <laughs> you ain't got no beard on? No. You ain't got no fringes on. Bring it out. You don't celebrate none of God's holidays. Because if there was a God, why would we be going through what we're going through? All those answers are right here, man. You just, right. just got to be patient, man. Y'all got to be patient. Y'all should be talking to him. Y'all got to be patient. We got the real questions that maybe y'all can help. So you saying you ain't got no real questions then? No, oh. I do, but Give me he, Revelation he, he, he needed one. more than me. The book of Revelation. Yeah, I do. Chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So, Bert, Jesus Christ has to be revealed to our people. Why? Because he's been hidden behind lies. That's right. Christ told us that many, Bert, pay attention. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. She all right, she all right. We out here for you, bro. Look, Christ said many will come in my name and deceive many. So Christ has to be revealed. The truth of Christ has to be revealed. And it's already revealed right here in the book. Give me verse 14. Verse 14, his head and his hairs, his head and the hairs on his head were what? Were white like wool. White like wool, bird who has woolly hair. Man, that's still a book that I don't believe. In. What a book that you don't? What book do you believe in? That ain't, that, you know, what book do you believe in, Bert? Huh? What book do you believe in? I don't believe in the Bible. What book do you believe in? You didn't answer the question. No, I don't. I don't. You believe in a history book? You believe a? You believe in Christopher Columbus came over here? I believe in. You believe in the mathematics? Somebody taught you two plus two, right? Yeah, but that I, came out of a book. That's right. Right. Stop being simple, man. Huh? You being simple, brother. No, no, you being no. simple, brother. This book right here was written by your ancestors. That's you said right. you don't believe it in it. Not, it was written by, it was written by your ancestors. It was written by people who that looked in just like you. That's huh? Right. That was what? Uh, what? It was written by what? A group of people that was uh, in the image of God. It's supposed to be in the spirit of God. So you don't you don't understand no. what the image of God no, is. I don't believe in a book. Okay. Nobody gonna. Um, no, no, give me the image of God. Sister wants to know why did they change the image of Christ to what they have it now. Wait, wait, we didn't get to where y'all got the, what do you mean? You said, sis, you what, said you ain't had no real questions. That's right. You ain't had no real questions, sis. You gonna answer my question because you was just on Revelation 1.14. You about to read it. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna finish this up. Because everybody need to understand. And this, nah, brother. Come on, brother. You telling me you don't believe in the book of your ancestors? And you want to pound me up, man? I'm not out here to pound you up. I'm out here for repentance, brother. Either you want to repent from your sins, or you want to die here in the world. That's it. I'm going to read a verse that's written just for you. Give me Amos 9. Your belief is your belief. My belief is my belief. No, brother. We came on the slave, same slave ship. No, 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 no. We got the same ancestors, brother. No. We got beat by the same white man, brother. No, no, no. We got cracked by the same whips. It ain't no me and you, it's us. We're one people, my brother. Right, man. Why you think I'm calling you brother? You think we look alike for no reason? Yeah, but we we're brothers. Vision, we're all one family, vision, brother. Our visions are not. We right. all look like our brothers. You know, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not saying that you. You know. All my people. If read I don't that. This verse right here is for you. Read. <laughs> the book of Amos, chapter nine and verse ten. Bring it out. All the sinners of my people, brother. You are. You are in the midst of sin. All of our brothers and sisters out here are in the midst of sin, and we're trying to correct that. This is what the Bible says about a sinner. You know what a sinner is? Show, show them what sin is. Hold that. Show them what sin is, so you can understand why this verse is for you. You need to understand why this verse is for you. Give me First John. Come on. First, First John three and four. First John chapter three verse four. Read out. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. You're a breaker of God's law. You shave your beard. 
you're breaking God's law. Right. Sisters that's wearing pants, you're breaking God's laws. Right. If you don't have fringes on your clothes, you're breaking God's laws. That's if you right. celebrate birthdays, you're breaking God's laws. That's if right. you eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, you're breaking God's laws. Right. Go right. back to Amos. Go back to Amos. A sinner is somebody that breaks God's laws right. under the old covenant or the new covenant. It's, it's the same law. Right. It's the it. exact same law. You don't get it. You about to get it. Right. You about to get this right here. Right. Amos chapter nine verse ten. Now all the sinner, all the all the Israelites, all the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that break God's commandments. Teach. What's gonna happen to them? Of my people uh -huh. shall die by the sword. Yes. You gonna die, brother? You got to die for your sins. Oh, that's right. Give me Romans 6. That's Old Testament. That's New Testament. All you blacks that don't want to repent from your sins, you don't want to stop having sex with these women, you don't want to stop humping on these men, you got to die for that sin. Oh, that's right. God got a special a special gift for you, and it's going to be a bomb that comes out of the sky and blow your hind pots up. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. That's what the Bible says. For the wages of sin is death. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. It said that in Amos in the Old Testament. It says it in Romans in the New Testament. There's no difference between the Old and the New Covenant. Except the black man don't know who he is anymore. Under the New Covenant. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth